Bombshell. Mueller gives Democrats horrific news. Millions are stunned. Special Counsel Robert Mueller has been working to try and figure out how President Donald Trump colluded with Russia to steal the 2016 presidential election. Instead, he stumbled upon something that is the left running for cover. It started off with Mueller tracking down Trump's campaign manager, Paul Manafort, for evidence, but the focus has shifted. Mueller has put Tony Podesta and the Podesta Group on watch as they are now the focus of a federal investigation, according to NBC News. Manafort started a group called the European Center for a Modern Ukraine, ECMU. The nonprofit group was not directly tied into any wrongdoing, however. Podesta's company, which worked with the firm, is currently under investigation. Sources told NBC that Podesta's company was tasked with promoting a more positive image of the Ukraine in the western part of the world. That mission seemed to be hiding a more sinister plot. It is believed that Podesta and his company went out of their way to violate the Foreign Agents Registration Act, also known as FARA. This is a breaking story and demonstrates that the left may be in deeper water as John Podesta worked with Hillary Clinton to try and get her elected during the 2016 election. The FARA Act states that people or companies that lobby on behalf of a foreign government, leaders, or political parties must give detailed information about how they spend their money and their general activities to the Justice Department. Failure to comply with these terms results in a felony with a sentence ranging up to five years in prison. It was discovered that the Podesta Group was breaking the basic rules of FARA. They only registered their work and payments after they were called out by the media. A spokeswoman revealed that the Podesta Group's original filings were turned in after they received legal advice to do so. Surely they knew that this was a requirement before they were called out by the media, so what was holding them up? It was then discovered that the Podesta Group waited until after the media reported on their failure to report everything to get in touch with the people in charge of FARA to find out exactly what they need to do. This might suggest that they knew from the start that they were not meeting the legal requirements. NBC reports that Tony Podesta is the head of the Podesta group and John Podesta allegedly is not tied to the group at this time. That is not to say that he was never part of the group, he just isn't now. According to an official statement, the Podesta Group is going to cooperate with the Special Counsel's Office. From this point forward, they are going to work on turning over all necessary information. As of right now, Mueller's office is declining to comment on this new information, though it does not seem to fall in line with a report that stated Mueller's team sent out subpoenas to six different firms in the ECMU. Moving forward, it is going to be interesting to see what Mueller's team uncovers in this investigation. They have seemingly given up on the Trump-Russia collusion as it has not been their driving force due to lack of evidence. It looks like when the left requested a special counsel, they got just what they asked for all along. So true. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.